it's Ella Kari, Recruitment Director at the Talent Playbook and today I wanted to do a quick vlog around the best ways to vet and find the right recruiter to work with. So you might think it's a little bit strange that a recruitment agency is, and biased, that a recruitment agency is putting out a vlog around how to find the best recruitment agency, but we only specialize in hospitality, food, beverage, tourism, travel, so we don't hit every single industry, therefore we're hoping that this information, no matter what background you're from will actually help you in finding the right recruiter. Also, we really want you to find the right recruiter because it's getting tough out there for recruiters and in relation to if the quality is not there, you know, it's very public and people know all about it. So we really want everyone to up their game to ensure that our that our industry no longer gets fraught with the type of criticism that we get. So for me, this is a really important video because I want you to work with the best of the best, truly. So in relation to trying to find the right recruiter, first of all, I always say the most important thing is it's not about the company that you're working with, but more so important about the recruiter you're working with. So you're really looking to work with someone who actually has the right background. You're looking for seasoned recruiters who have been in the industry for a long time, or recruiters that might be a little bit more junior, but have done the role that you're recruiting. For example, you might find a recruiter who's only been a recruiter for 12 to 18 months, but prior to that, they used to be an engineer themselves and you're looking for an engineer. So that's the right recruiter. In fact, those recruiters are amazing, usually because they have such great empathy and understanding of what the candidates are looking for. So it's all about pedigree. Look at the recommendations, make sure their recommendations are not from uh, their actual other recruiters or their managers, but more so from their candidates and their clients. So important that the candidates have a great experience. Also, don't just look at LinkedIn reviews, also look at Google reviews as well. That's a really great way to see agencies' uh, backgrounds and what people are saying about them. On Google, people are quite honest, um, and you'll see that if you go on Google reviews, the type of commentary that you're getting, and you can do your homework on those people by looking them up on LinkedIn yourself to make sure that it isn't just a friend, but someone who's actually from the industry that that recruitment agency is actually recruiting from. So that's a really great way as well as going and looking at the review side of things. Also, make sure that you're getting your list of, of recruiters that you're vetting and looking at from referrals. Uh, speak to your employees. What great experiences have they had? And when they tell you which recruiters to go with, make sure that you ask them why, because you don't want someone who's just referring someone because they're going to get a bonus um, from the recruitment agency for uh, handing over that work. But they're actually telling you these are the reasons why this recruitment agency really worked for me and more specifically the recruiter that they worked with. That is really important, a great way to vet um, your, your potential recruitment agency. Just know that um, by Googling something and relying on SEO to choose your recruitment agency is silly. You need to make sure that you're actually doing your research. Um, and it's not about how long a business has been in place. It's actually really honestly about the actual people who work there. Like anything else, what we do is we deal in humans and interaction so you need to make sure the tenure of the actual people are what you're looking for not so much just the actual uh, company and how long they've been around for because it really doesn't matter it's about the actual people who work within the business um, which is most significant in, in the space as well you want to make sure that you're working with people who are responsive so my uh, big big red flag to me when I was a HR manager and I worked internally in recruitment when recruiters didn't get back to me on time I mean we are their bread and butter as clients uh, to me if they're not being responsive they're not getting back to me within an hour or two around any um, inquiry I put for potential new business with them to me they don't see my business as significant or important they need to be negotiable they need to be able to work towards quality they're happy to amend their fee structure to be able to ensure the quality so it's not about taking away what they earn because some recruiters are worth massive, massive amount of money and they deserve every single cent. But it's about being able to measure the quality and putting SLAs behind that and KPIs. For example, you might say to them, I'm happy to pay you 
25% for this uh, particular recruitment as long as when you provide the shortlist to me, you're providing me with only five candidates and out of those five, I actually see three of them and I hire one of them. That way you're ensuring a level of quality. And finally, the best way to work with a really, really quality recruiter is by rewarding them with a retained search. So many times we've actually had clients reward us with retained searches by coming to us and seeing how great the work that we've done and um, asking if they can pay a third upfront to be able to say thank you for the work that we're doing um, so retaining a search really ensures that quality and engagement through the process as well so that's very very important and the more honest your recruiter is with you the more feedback that they give you on your business your brand your employment engagement the better a recruiter they are that honesty is everything that you're looking for and sometimes it hurts a bit sometimes it feels like oh I didn't come to you to hear about my business but if they are telling you what your candidates are experience, experiencing if they're giving you data throughout the process they're not just representing resumes but they're telling you about how many people applied why they were pushed back for certain reasons things like that the more data the more information a recruiter gives you and not just information from a library somewhere in the business where they just pull out some marketing material and send to you but rather bespoke analytics around your recruitment also shows you a really valuable recruiter and a recruiter that sets up a really good timeline and also marks it out just like a project is also a really great recruiter so I hope this all helped you there are so much more from here in relation to how to keep your recruiter on track and make sure that once you've selected them that they are the right person and negotiating through the fee structure and I will release more of these little videos to help you throughout the process um, but just know finding a recruiter is just like finding a marketing agency or working with a business coach you have to find the right one for you it's not one size fits all um, it's not about trying to find someone who's a mind reader. You have to do your homework and you have to work through it to get the best out of it. But if you're looking for the best in the business um, who recruit in hospo, food, beverage, travel, tourism, um, please check us out. Uh, check us out. Check out our Google ratings. Um, check out our reviews. Check out our LinkedIn. We back ourselves. So um, we're happy to say that most certainly that's the space that we're passionate about and that we love and we work in so definitely check out our background but um for those who are not looking in that space i hope this was useful to you thank you